what's going on it's phil from phil's food review um welcome back to the channel if you're new feel free to hit that subscribe button down below uh give me a like as well it really helps with that youtube algorithm so actually smash that like button all right so today i'm taking you to two restaurants because it's my valentine's day special i'm going to have it with my girlfriend you guys are going to come along with us so the first restaurant I'm going to is Minami. It's a sushi restaurant downtown. They got a fantastic uh, sushi platter and we got that. And second, we're going to Cafe Balloon. It's in the Four Seasons. They have an afternoon tea. We're gonna get that set and show you what that's all about. Um, and I hope you enjoy and come along for the ride. So first, I'm gonna try the tuna maki. Looks like a healthy portion of tuna with the rice. The proportions look like the proper proportions. Some places you go, you get way too much rice for the amount of tuna. This looks perfect. Let's dig in. Mm. The tuna tastes nice. There's not too much rice as I said before. You really get that vinegar flavor out of the rice. It's really nice all together. This next one here is tuna belly, and it looks like there's a little bit of green onion inside. It same with the other one, perfect proportions. Let's dig in. Mmm. It's so rich and creamy. The fattiness of that tuna belly is perfect in there. And then the chives give it that little bit of texture that you need to cut through some of that fattiness. It tastes so good. I really haven't been to another place that does tuna belly maki like this. And but I gotta say it's really impressive. It's really great. So now we got the Atlantic salmon nigiri. Looks like a really healthy portion of the salmon, which I, I love that. Uh, you see a little bit of color from the skin, um, has a little a couple cuts in it. Mm. Tastes super fresh. And it's really creamy compared to some of the other places you go to. I think some of the layer on the top, that color was a little bit of that fat. And that gives it that little extra bit of texture and a little bit of richness that usually, if you go to another place that gives you like cheap salmon, it's just straight meat and it doesn't taste as great. This is like buttery smooth when you eat it and you put it into your mouth and it just tastes great. This next piece has got to be one of my favorites that I like to order when I go to uh, sushi restaurants. It's called Hamburjack. Uh, so I, I have, I'm looking, really looking forward to this one. Mm. Once again, really great. But, this one, when you bite into it, has a little more of a snap. It's a little bit more, um, what's the word? It's a little bit more solid, not as soft as some of the other pieces. I've had other hammer jacks before, and this isn't as great. Like that, those high-end hammer jacks are really, really delicious and like, it's like melting your mouth and it has a really great flavor. This one's a little um, tougher when you bite into it. There's a little bit more of a snap. This next one's the Chutoro, which is the medium fatty. Um, and this looks, this looks really great. You see like the marbling of um, that fat with the meat. Mm. Nice and soft. Fattiness adds some richness into it. You really get that great flavor of the tuna. It's really refreshing. And 
you can tell that this is some pretty good quality tuna. This next one is the Otoro. This is the fatty tuna. So even more than the next than the last one, it's more rich, um, more fat. You can really see like this has the perfect marbling. It's one of my favorites. I love eating this. Mm. It's so rich. It's so creamy. If you're if you're not a fan of like that fatty tuna, you might not like this the best. You might actually like Chutoro better. For me, this is one of those pieces where you can only indulge in it so many so many pieces, like maybe one or two. If you keep going with it, uh, it's going to be way too much. But just having that one piece, it's great. Has some really great flavor. So next we got Oshi, which I think is torch sushi. This one is uh, the yellow tail. It has, it has like serrano pepper, uh, a little bit of like lemon juice on top. Uh, let's try it. Mm. Has a nice flavor. You can taste some yuzu in there. Um, the lemon adds that little bit of acidity to cut through like uh, the some of the taste of the uh, the yellowtail. Really good combination of flavors. This next one is the salmon oshi. It also has that pepper on top and uh, like a creamy sauce on top of the salmon. Mmm. That cream they put on top of the salmon, they torched it really nicely. You can taste that flavor of it being torched. It has almost like a charred barbecue flavor on top of it. It's really nice. This one is the tuna. Uh, it has. A, it's supposed to have a little bit of spicy sauce on top um, and some, I think, a capers on top. It's really good. It's not too spicy. It's just like a little hint of the extra flavor. The fried capers on top add a little extra texture on top of the tuna. It's really nice all together. And last but not least, we have ebi, which is prawn. I think it's sweet prawn. This is usually my favorite. So let's see. Mmm. It's nice and crunchy when you bite into it. You really get hit with a, a citrusy flavor. It has lime juice on top of it. So you really get that citrus flavor from that lime. Mixed in with that, with the sweetness of that shrimp. It's really nice actually. So we just finished eating it. This was the Minami Sushi Platter. Uh, it's their Valentine special. So you get 28, uh, 28 pieces for 60 bucks. I think it's a pretty good value um, given that you're giving these nice pieces of fatty tuna, you get something different like the uh, the tuna belly maki as well as those four pieces of torch sushi. Um, it's a great combination. I think it's a great meal to share with your loved one, your significant other, whoever. Um, and Valentine's being one of those crucial points in any restaurant, like you got to get it right or else you're ruining someone's Valentine's and then they're, they're not going to come back to you if you do that. So they did a great job doing with this, uh, making this platter. It's a great value as well, I think. Um, does it compare to like an omakase? I don't think you can go that far to say that it's the same level as an omakase, just cause omakase, you get the chef specialty. They put a little more care and effort into uh, the combination of flavors on each piece, especially the uh, nigiri. They usually put something on top. Uh, they put the soy sauce on top for you so you know so you have like that perfect balance of flavors so this is at that level but if you're looking for a great uh casual dining experience and you want to eat sushi this is a great place to try it out